the XGML editor supports exporting and importing model data through an Eclipse wizard. To access these wizards, right click anywhere in Model Explorer and choose either the Import or the Export option. The page that is presented allows you to choose which wizard you'd like to use to export model data. In this case, we want to expand the XTML folder and choose the XTML model wizard. Then we click the Next button. In the XTML export wizard, you are given a tree with all of the systems located in the workspace. And under each of those are top level packages. You can choose any combination of top level package to export to a single file. In this case, we'll choose the system package. The next thing that you need to do is choose the destination file. You can either enter this manually into the location field, or you can choose the browse button and then navigate through the file system and choose the export location and enter a file name. The XTML file extension is automatically added when you click save. The last option on this wizard is to override existing files without warning. With this not checked, if the destination file already exists, you will be presented with a dialog asking if you'd like to overwrite the destination file. When checked, this dialog will not be presented. Once you're done, you can click the Finish button. Navigating through the file system, you can now see that the destination XML file has been created. This file contains reference data to external elements such that when you import, it can automatically hook those references back up. In this case, we'll go back to the GPS Watch project, delete the system package, and now we will go through import. So we right click anywhere in Model Explorer, choose the import option. Then we expand the XML folder and choose the XML model import wizard, clicking the next button. The XML import wizard allows you to choose the file that you'd like to import. You can again enter this manually, or you can choose the browse button and go to the location of the file you'd like to import, selecting it and clicking open. The import wizard presents you with a tree of all the systems in the workspace, and you get to check which one you'd like to import the file to. Once done, click the finish button. You can now see that the system package is added back through import and we can see that the references are all hooked to back up. Looking at heart rate monitor, this component reference has been rehooked up with the heart rate monitor component here. And all of the imported provisions and requirements have successfully been hooked back up.